Lady Cass was alone and bold, searching for treasures untold. With a trusty man, protector in hand, she ventured through the old lands. The fields and pastures she would roam, hoping to find a treasure zone. Her heart beat fast, her eyes wide as she dug deep into the countryside, digging. A bloody kiss with her shovel and her dreams. Unearthing history, or so it seems. She's a modern day explorer, treading on ancient ground. Could it kiss lucky find the treasure she has found? Good morning and welcome to Bludicus Detects. And um, we're back on our usual farm that we're really hitting hard at the moment. Um, I'm on a new field I've never been on before. Chris is on a, nif a different one. He's on the talk field, just having another look um, before lunch and then he'll move on after lunch. We've had half an hour talking to the farmer. If you've got time to talk to your farmers, just talk to them. And uh, she uh, thanked us for releasing the sheep from the hedge last time we came. Um, I didn't know. I said to her, how did you know we've done it? And she said, because she tried. She's 80 year old. She tried to do it, couldn't do it. Um, and then noticed that it got out. So she assumed it would, was us and told us that it was stuck again. <laughs> so. Chris has headed off and done that this morning. Same sheep, um, different hedgerow. <laughs> so it's released again. Uh, yeah, so spend some time with your farmers if you can and help them where you can. Okay, so I'll set off going now and um, I'll be with you on the first find. Okay, thank you. Thanks for coming along. We'll start off with my first dig of the day and it is a big piece of lead and it came up at 22. So. I was quite excited about that. It's just a piece of lead. Second dig in is possibly a tears. It's a weight. Uh, should have some markings in there somewhere. Sorry if I was off screen then. Not very organised yet. I've got the toothbrush out. <coughs> Yeah, I think I'm seeing a one or something in centre. Sometimes I have some markings on the base. Nothing on there, but yeah, it's a little weight. Next one out is a snuff tin lid. Singleton's Snuff Super Menthol. It's actually not a lid, it's actually the whole can. Oh, sugar, sorry. <laughs> Magnetic thing. Um, Singleton and Coal, Birmingham and Branches, England. I wonder if there's any still in there. Uh, so a full tin of snuff. Super menthol. I'm showing you this one because uh, to me it looked heart shaped. It is lead. There does seem to be uh, a fitting there so I don't know whether it's purposefully heart shaped or not but I thought I'd show you anyway. I'm just going to do this because it uh, is in situ right at the bottom there. It's a musket ball. I won't show you any more but I'd just like to show that one because it was at the bottom of the hole. This one was ringing in at 18, it's still in the block. It's probably something and nothing, but we will have a look. I 
I don't think I'm going to have to give it a spray. It's looking odd shaped. My mind's going Roman, but probably not. Anyway, I'll give it a clean up and we'll see. Okay, so completely, completely wrong. It's two little ring things, but they had leather running through them. So, um, I don't know, I don't know whether that's been a buckle or... There we go, that's that one. There, I'll try and get you into some sun. Um, a clock clasp. Sometimes I have decorations on, so I thought I'd have a quick look with you, of course. I'm not seeing anything on that one. It's definitely a clog clasp. So Chris has had a cartwheel penny and we've only been here an hour and a half from the time we got out and then started speaking to the farmer um, we've just done an hour and a half so more to come this afternoon hopefully I'm hoping that this is my first coin of the day it is and it's a blooming two pence <sighs> Never mind, a coin's, a coin's a coin, I suppose. Uh, Chris has shouted, said he's got silver coin. He didn't say hammered, so I'm assuming it's a milled one. Um, nowhere near him, so we'll have to wait till we catch him at the end of the day, maybe. There's something just here, probably button. It is, I think, it is a button. Three cannons on it. See them in a row there. Is that Royal Artillery? Could be wrong, I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Underneath. A domed piece of lead. I don't, th no, it's not a musket ball has hit something, it's a domed piece. Uh, Chris has shouted silver again, so we'll have to have a catch up with him soon this is Chris's half silver find um, George V 1928 that was his first bit of silver and he's got some more I believe who remembers Chris finding this silver cigarette case lid on a few videos back I showed the hallmarks, there's the hallmarks. Well this week he's only been and done it again and got another piece. So we've now got the complete cigarette case. This one is actually the lid, not that one as I thought, that's the base, this one's the lid. And again we do have hallmarks. I'm filming this at home because on the field, when I filmed it, um, it didn't turn out. Um, I lost the footage, so I thought I'd do it when I get home, and then we've got the full box. This one's been hit by a plough. I'm not sure if that's restorable. It would be nice, wouldn't it, to get it restored. So I've had a look at the hallmarks and the maker's name on this cigarette case is CSG and Co. That's Charles Stevenson Green and Co. And it is dated 1931. So I'm happy with that. I've found it. This is a similar picture to what it would look like before the plough. That's me. I'm done. Um, it took me ages to find this. And it's just another piece of lead. Just not been my day today. It's been Chris's. But it's all for the channel, so that's good. Okay, I'll leave you at that. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks, take care.